I've had a lot of people ask me for an updated setup tour because the last time I did one, I had a laptop. So here it is. First, we should probably start with the... Oh, sorry, I thought I heard something. First thing we should add is the monitor because that's, that's, that's kind of the whole reason I've been making this video. Also, I need a place to sit. Yeah. This is the reason I've been procrastinating. Ow, that's my favorite reason I'm making this setup video is because I've been procrastinating putting together this monitor. My friend called me the other day. He said I should get a 2K monitor so I can, so I could record a bit better and pretty excited about this. It's been sitting here while I've been going to VidCon, which by the way, was so fun. There were a few people there who asked me like, do you still play on a laptop? No, I have, I have a better, so I'll show you in a sec. Very long winded to say, this is the new monitor. And this is the big new mess. <laughs> now it's a slightly smaller mess. I also have a second monitor. Next up is definitely the chair. And I have actual lights on me now. I figured I should keep the windows closed at least while we're looking at them because I don't fancy being doxxed. A uh, keyboard from Minute Tech. Which I gotta emphasize with voiceover, I love this keyboard. Beforehand, I was using one that was twice as long. I have so much more mouse space. Thank you, Minute Tech. I'm not a huge computer guy, but I know that this is a relatively nice computer. Can you, can you even see what's inside there? No, not really. <laughs> I think it has like a 3080 Ti, maybe, or something, like seven cores. Ryzen 9, oh my gosh, I know what that means. If this is the heart of the computer, this is the giant artery. Everything is gonna be plugged in through here, including my mouse. But Eddie Mouse needs a mouse pad. Where's my mouse pad? Haha. -ha. It's like 20 inches or something. Oh, and the mouse. I got this from my friend Nico because I wanted to learn how to drag click and butterfly click. I can't really drag click, but I can butterfly click decently these days. Model D. Honestly, it disconnects every once in a while, which is a bit annoying. So I got a second one, but this one doesn't doesn't work the best either. Maybe I should get a new mouse brand, but I really like these apart from the disconnecting issue. And what I like to do with the mouse cord is wrap it around here. So it's not getting super pulled while I'm playing and I, I actually have some lax in it. Lax, is that the right word? I don't really know. Okay, I need to find the cord for this keyboard. It got lost in this mess. Oh, I have a notebook. That's pretty cool. I actually use that a ton when I'm giving advice for people on videos or whatnot. Is this, I have a webcam. This is my audio interface. I actually, okay, to be completely honest, I have no idea what this does. Well, like, yeah, I have no idea what this does. I only got it because a friend said it'd make my audio sound better, which I think it does. I don't know. Where's my cord? Is this it? This has got to be it, right? Yeah, I think this is it. This whole thing's a learning experience for me too. I haven't set up my setup in like a year. There was dust all over my table. I found a $20 bill and a lot of tax documents that I probably shouldn't show on camera. So I'm glad I got those out of the way. Next up, perhaps my favorite part of the setup, the boom arm, yeah. <laughs> like the microphone's pretty good. It's a Shure, what is it? A Shure M7B or something. It's the little brother to the popular one that everybody has. I got a pop filter. This makes it so it doesn't like go. And then we plug the microphone into here, which then goes into the computer. That felt really uninteresting. I'm like, so guys, this is how you plug stuff into a computer. I don't know, I'm kind of having fun though. I have this thing too for my my keyboard. It just, so if you don't have it, your wrist is kind of like down by this edge. Just a little bit of comfort. I got, I think I got this for Amazon for like five bucks. And then my speakers. Funny thing about this, when I got my headphones, I accidentally broke them. Well, I didn't break my headphones. So the headphones I have are these ones. They're like the DT9090 Pro, which are great, by the way. These are my favorite kind of headphones. They're open back, so you can kind of hear the surrounding. The reason it has red tape though, is because I would normally plug it into the front of my computer here. But one day I, when I was vacuuming, you can kind of see it here. I I vacuumed the cord. So it bent this and broke my front headphone jack, meaning I had to plug it in the back where these things were. So I'm pretty sure for the last like three months, these have just been a decoration on my desk. Am I still recording? For the most part, this is how my desk looks. I also have a secret drawer under here, but I'm gonna keep that shut. I think it has my passport in it and you guys don't need to know my passport. The sad thing about these headphones is since it was plugged in here, I would have this cord rest around that so it's like not over by my feet. But now I have my external hard drives for that job. Um, oh yeah, this is my 
This is my, my shelf. I think my dad gave this to me when I was like 11 or something. I got Aragon, the third book. I got Blood of Olympus. That's actually a fire book. I love the series. This is what got me into reading. I guess technically it was this, that that's kind of the prequels. I definitely haven't read all of these books. I, I've actually read most of them, but the only ones I haven't read are this one, recommended to me by a YouTube friend. I read the first 10 pages and ah. And then this one, which I was pr Oh, sorry. Which I was- Oh, what is this one? Sorry, Hank Green. This is the most YouTuber-y book. I honestly, I feel like- I feel like I don't really need it to be a YouTuber. I read a bit of it, not my kind of jam. Anyways, you guys don't care. I have the external hard drive. So I have one of these, and then I have my headphones, like, resting alongside this, just so it doesn't go anywhere. So all that's the essentials for my main setup. I'm gonna plug all of this stuff in properly, maybe reorganize, and we'll see if it actually turns on. Oh, by the way, um, when I was at VidCon, somebody gave me this and this. I'm sorry I got a little beat up on the plane ride, but I do appreciate it a lot. That was so cool. And this, it was really fun meeting up with everybody in person. That, I think definitely the highlight of my year so far. Okay, what are the chances we think this will turn on? 70% maybe? Hey, I hear stuff. You can, oh. Whoa! You can, you can see lights, sort of, barely, kind of. Oh, it's lit up. Oh, that is so dirty. Oh, don't look at that. It's not turning on. Is there a power button? Ah. The things outside of my computer though, are the two play buttons. That's honestly like still crazy. And then my wooden play button, which is cool. I feel like my energy was a bit lower for this recording session, but regardless, I hope you guys have an epic day. I had a blast at VidCon, probably gonna be making some commentary soon. I am mining diamonds. I got a stack of diamond blocks today, so pretty good. I don't know if I said everything I wanted to. I kind of rambled for the next minute or two, so I'll leave you with this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll uh, see you in Minecraft sometime. Peace.